So they've been blasting me with their shit. Still here, obviously. Looked at my mentions on YouTube. Pooty Twang, Daniel Dowd, his toxic masculinity is interviewed Tara Joyce and a whole list of other people that I don't know. I woke up at 3.30 this morning. That's what I found. And then at 5.30 this morning, someone forwarded me this email exchange. Janon, Baby Fist. You can go look in the community posts on YouTube because I just posted it. But obviously, there's some infighting. I'm more focused on now. See, that deputy that showed up, I'm really tired of my police protecting and supporting fucking child killers. They think they're all that. That deputy that came over the other day when that woman broke my window, he better hope his fucking ego can get him out of this. Because I don't think he has a fucking prayer. Personally. But he's all that in a bag of chips. You know? So I am sure that his entitled ass will be able to work his magic. You know? Better figure out how to do it. Quick, dumbass. All this is going to start coming out. It's all coming out. The destruction, it's all, the, the house of cards is already starting to burn. And everyone who has a card in this game is going to be touched by it. God doesn't like child killers. Likes people who will protect fucking child killers even less. And obviously, my police in town love fucking child killers. They can blow up a goddamn gas station, and my police will protect them. They can come in and murder my best friend, and my police will protect him. Did you really think they were going to do shit over a broken fucking window? When you look at the gas station, and you look at them murdering Owen... Neil and his little group think that I can't touch them. I want to see if that's true. I want to see what I can do. That's what I've asked God. That's what I asked heaven. I want to see what I'm able to accomplish. And so that's what we're going to do. I'm done waiting for Jesus. Let's just put it that way. For those of you who feel so compelled, who want to help someone who's taken out child killers, I could sure use the funds. I have a broken window I have yet to be able to fix. PayPal and Venmo is D. Scherter. Oh, and Geo Farnsworth, I took screenshots of you trying to befriend me on Venmo the other day. Two days ago... You know, I ain't fucking stupid, dickhead. These child killers are gonna fucking come down. And anybody who fucking protects these child killers, who stands in my way when it comes to these fucking child killers, you're gonna get what you fucking get. And I don't give a shit how you feel about it. I'm... Done being a nice guy. Done with it. It's gotten me basically nowhere. So let's see what being a dickhead accomplishes. So I'm going to use what I was trained to do. The very thing I've spent my entire life trying to avoid. And now I'm just going to openly embrace it. And use it. And we'll see what fucking happens. Go check my community post. You'll see the conversation that I was sent this morning at 5.30. I got sent it at 5.30 in the morning, which means these dumbasses were up all night doing this shit. You know? Something's happening. Oh, 
and enjoy the fucking hurricane that's already 115 mile an hour winds. Just wait. You all want to see what heaven can do? You're about to. For those of you who would like to help, again, my PayPal and my Venmo are d shirter Could use all the financial help I could get. God knows, it's hard to live on $900 a month. I seem to be able to do it, though. But, uh... I'm sorry for those of you who are expecting me to just stay and be a nice guy and, you know, I love kids and I'm tired of fucking child killers and I'm tired of people who fucking protect child killers. Fuck you all. And you're going to find out exactly how bad that can get.